Um, hello, brothers and sisters of Christ, y'all. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to share a few dreams that I had with y'all that I had last night, what, this morning? Because I put it on the community post. But like I said, many people don't read the community post. So I'm just going to give y'all my dreams, the two dreams I had. I had other dreams, but I'm going to give you these two. Okay, there's one dream, because I know a lockdown is coming, y'all. It was me and this other person. We was traveling on this road in a car. We was going to go take care of our daily business. And in the midst of we driving, this police government official stopped us on the, in our car. And told us that we couldn't, this our last time to be out, because they're going to do curfews and a lockdown. So we had to feel like we had to get things done. Like, make sure y'all stack up on stuff. So at that time, he let us know that we can't be out. Like the next day, they was going to do a lockdown, a curfew and a lockdown. It was a government a, a officer in the government. He was in a little uh, uniform, kind of. <coughs> had stopped us on the road, on our road, uh, on our way out. Told us that they doing a lockdown. This is our last time out. He stopped the vehicle, said this is our last time out. Because they're going to do a curfew and lockdown. So make sure y'all stock up on stuff, y'all. Because Satan always coming up with something. God always alert his people, y'all. Because they're going to do this and... I don't know why I feel in my spirit like martial law. They gonna do this stuff, y'all. They, you know, they coming up with this NWO. They trying to change into the uh, Antichrist system. And then this other dream I had. Okay, this one. I guess I'm gonna. I don't know if I. Should, I'm gonna start at the first beginning because I'm still trying to figure this dream out. It was me and um, this girl was with me, but I felt like this girl was my daughter. And we had went to these people's house. They had a lot of acres of land. And it was pretty in this acre of land. But these was a black people's house we went to. They was having like an event or something. So we went to the event. And as we was in the event, I was standing outside on the porch. And I seen this girl was standing, her and a, a, a lot of other, like, I guess they were family members, like a lot of other teenagers. And it was this girl, she was braiding this girl hair. Had this girl sitting in the chair. And this girl had some long orange hair. But her hair was orange, but the girl was braiding it. So she was like, you know how they do the uh, knotless braids? So they braid, she braided her hair all the way back. And y'all, her hair went so long, it went like to the other side of the land. Went way down. I said, this girl got a lot of talent. I, I told that girl, I said, I used to have a lot of uh, patience to do that. But she was braiding the girl's hair, and the hair was so long. Like Rapunzel, but it was long. It was going way down the, um, y'all, this girl must probably been braiding that girl hair for a long time. And so, she was braiding the girl hair, and so I left her, because when we walked over, and I was seeing the girl doing her hair, then the other girls, the kids that was watching her, they left and went to the other side of the house. So I went to, with these kids, because I had um, this young girl with me that, that was probably been my daughter in the dream. And so, as I go on the side of the house, I talked to the young kids. They wouldn't say nothing. Like, they ran from me. So they was avoiding me as I was talking to them because I was asking them, like, where are the people at and all this. So they was avoiding me. So I told them, my daughter, I was like, let's go. So we went inside the house. And inside the house, it was older people. And it was this one lady. She asked me, she's like, who are y'all? Where y'all from? And I had told her, I said, this woman named Melda had sent us. She told us to come over here. And y'all, I don't know why I said the woman Melda. And I said, she told us to meet her over here. Because she was coming to the event. And, but the woman, she said, oh, yeah, I know Melda. So she knew the woman. And so, end up before I went inside the house, we had this, me and my daughter had this long, tall, rectangle refrigerator. But when we got in the house, we took it through the house and we put it on there, like, I guess it was on, like, their back porch or something. So we took our long refrigerator. It was a long, tall, skinny rectangle small rectangle uh, refrigerator so me and my daughter was like let's go so we got our refrigerator and we opened the refrigerator and it was a tree in there that we had a, a small thin rectangle tree that was inside of the uh, refrigerator like we was keeping it um you know how you keep things fresh and so i told my daughter i said here goes some broccoli this your broccoli and my daughter was like no this not my broccoli so we left the broccoli out so we took a tree we took our refrigerator with the tree inside and we took it out. We was leaving out the back door. So the woman was talking to us and she was like, oh, y'all leaving? And I was like, yes, man, we leaving. And, um, you know, she said, well, tell Melda this and this. She was telling us all about tell Melda. She said, hi. I was like, okay, we will. So as we left out the back door, y'all, we ended up inside, inside this house.
house and we pulled the door, going through this door, and it was, I was like, this ain't even, we thinking this is an exit out. Open the door and seemed like I was somewhere like in another country. I seen like a woman, think like an Indian lady, and she was cooking. So I said, we ain't in this place, so we shut the door. So we went, walked through, we went to another door, opened the door, it was to another place. I was like, oh no. So I was confused. I was like, we're trying to go home. How we open these doors? And we ain't where we at. Then I opened another door. And I was like, I don't know what this place. So I went to another, I slid, slid a curtain. <coughs> slid a curtain. And then end up, we, I was in this place, man. My daughter, we seen this girl. I mean, I don't know who it was. But actually at first, they were laying in the bed with the covers over their head. And I said, I seen the color of the skin. I told her, I said, I didn't see the color of the skin. I told my daughter, I said, we must be in the wrong place. Because I figured that since we seen the Iranian lady and other places, we seen that we probably was in a different area. So when my daughter pulled the cover back, it was this black, this black child. I don't know if it was a boy or girl. So I was like, what is this? So I was like, okay, we might be somewhere close because they black. Y'all, so we put the cover on top of the girl. Went through the slide door. They had like a, uh, I guess it was like a, I don't know, inside the house it was like a, another curtain, long curtain. But it was a door entry. And we did the curtain like this. And we looked through the curtain. And it was like this camp. It was this camp. And, and these people had all these children of different colors. It was a Chinese, Japanese camp. And I'm going to tell you how I know it was a Japanese camp. Cause we was, I was peeping out the window, out the curtain, out the door area, and we're looking. And I told my daughter, I was like, "What is this?" And so I told my daughter, I was like, I, "It looked like it was a school to me." But as I stood there seeing, it was all like they was giving orders, and they had these children, all different colors, like teenagers, and they were standing. And this why I know it was Japanese. They had them holding a Japanese flag, but it was white with a blue circle on the inside. And so I looked up this morning. Because I know it was Japanese, because I remember the Japanese flag, the original one, is a white and they have a red circle in the inside. And they said, that's the sun. So I looked up this morning, and I'm trying to see what's going on, and I see it's just a blue one, but they trying to transition. It's another Japanese flag, then they transition into blue. No. But it was a camp, and they had somebody in front of them like this. And I told my daughter, I said, do you want to stay here? And then I just woke up. Y'all, a Japanese camp. So I'm looking online, and I'm typing a Japanese camp. And I seen they had all these uh, Japanese camps in World War II. So I don't know if they got the children. I don't, y'all, I don't even know if they're to the point if they come and slave the kids. And got the kids in the camp. Y'all still trying to figure this whole dream out. But the only thing really stood out to me was because when I went to another door, and I'm like, here go Jap we in Jap Japan, Japanese flag. And it was so crazy because I went to one door and I seen a woman, like an Indian woman, cooking. And I said, no, nah, we in the wrong place. Because I was trying to find our way, trying to find our way back home. Because we was trying to go back to where we started at. Because I was like, now we got to go back to where we came from. Because this will lead us back to where we was at. But after that with the, the Japanese people, with the flag, I'm trying to see what this flag means. Because I looked up and it said something about, I know the red circle mean the white mean war and the red means sun so i looked up and see what the blue circle mean it says c so war and c y'all i'm trying to still figure this out y'all y'all be blessed i'm gonna get back and spend time with the lord i said let me get up this um and um share this dream with y'all and then, then I got up this morning, and then, in my spirit, the Lord, I mean, in my spirit was saying, Antichrist, y'all. And I don't know if it said Antichrist because the Lord talked to me about the Antichrist because it came in my spirit. And I don't know if it said, anti if he saying Antichrist because of Japanese, <laughs> you know, they all against Christ. Or just be prepared for the Antichrist that's coming. So I'm trying to spend time with the Lord on that. Y'all, just be prepared, y'all. Keep y'all faith in the Lord. The Lord said he's telling us to be, be aware. So much stuff coming on. And another lockdown. 
And I know how it is with my dreams. I was there. My dreams be like so vivid. And I know the Lord speaking, just like I'm with the Japanese. Oh, y'all. And there's going to be war in, this, in these camps. I wonder if they're going to kidnap the children. Y'all, I'm still trying to figure this out. But we know it's just expect a World War III going to come. Because they got all of this fighting stuff. But Japanese. Y'all. And the Lord say Antichrist. Come on, put in my spirit this morning. I won't go to my Antichrist. Because you know they even any Antichrist against Christ. But y'all. Well, I have to share this with y'all real quick. Let me get back and spend time with the Lord, y'all. Keep your eyes on the Lord. I said, let me do a video because many people don't even watch the community posts. So y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. No one thing will never be the same. Watch and go fly his holy name. But keep your faith in the Lord. Our Father, he, he, he take care of all of us, y'all. Ain't going to provide everything. But just know darkness is on its way. Well, it's here, but you know it's going to get worse. So y'all be blessed.